Hey yo, I'm Jazz. In this video I'm going to show you every step to make a natural paint binder for watercolors. I use this binder with natural pigments to make the most eco-friendly water paint. I'll also show you what the paint looks like fresh and after a few years. Thanks for being here and enjoy the binder venture! All right, let's start with some eggs. These ones are from my friend who lets her chickens run free all day. Whoa. And then I separate the yolk from the white. We only keep the white, but you could use the yellow to make some tempera paint. I'll try making a video about this too because it's a good acrylic alternative. Anyways, I use the white of three eggs and then I whip it. A lot. And some more until I can't feel my arms. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we have a foamy happy chicken's egg whites. Hot stuff. I place a lid on the bowl and I will put that in the fridge and let it sit for the night. The next day, the egg white will have separated with the foam on top. We're gonna take that little clumsy foam away. You could eat it. And I will filter it to take the leftover clumps away. Whoa! And I place it in the fridge. Next step, the gum arabic. I buy it in bulk at my local zero waste store. I put one tablespoon of gum arabic powder for 150 milliliters of hot water. The aim is to make an even liquidy thingy which can be tricky. The magic trick is to give it a little mix and let the powder sit in the water for about 30 minutes to an hour. This will help the powder dissolve more easily. If there's leftover clumps, just squish them good. Like that. Just like that. Then I'm taking out my local organic honey from Miel de la Garde. I want to make some liquid honey. I put the same amount of water and honey and heat it so the water evaporates a bit. Yeah. So now we got our stuff ready and can mix it all into the binder potion. We got gum arabic, honey, eggs, and essential oils. That's optional. Now I mix it all in a container. I add two parts of egg. This little finger is for my personal measurement. Two parts of gum arabic One part of honey I mix it And add a few drops of camphor essential oil That's way too many drops Two is enough Lavender, clove, and tea tree are also good oils. Essentially, they help for preservation. Essentially. <laughs> you could also put entire cloves in it instead of the oil. I mix it all to make it homogeneous. That stuff smells good. 
And here we have it, our natural watercolor paint binder. Pew 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 pew! Ta -da! Look how hot that is! I preserve it in the fridge up to about two weeks. Can also be frozen. Wow, a cute drawing from my little sister. Okay, now let's make the paint. Right now I'm using a daisy flower pigment I made. If you want to learn how to make a natural pigment, watch my tutorial video, the link will be in the description. So I add the binder in the center and around. I mix it roughly to make the pigment wet. As for the quantities, you don't need specific amount of pigment and binder to mix together. I put around the same amount of pigment and binder and I will add more binder or more pigment until I get the desired texture. I will grind the paint with a glass muller, but you could also use an object that is really hard and really flat. You don't see it, but I've made many more rounds of mulling. Now we gotta paint. My favorite texture is when it looks exactly like that. Just a bit liquid, but still dense. I find that this texture dries the fastest and gives the best results. I put it in a container and let it dry overnight. Two. Here is what it looks like a day later. Now I'm wetting the paint while listening to my grandma on the phone talking about her cat. And apply the paint to a watercolor paper. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Some more drawings because eco paint is cool. Here is my watercolor paint collection, all wet. And here are some paintings I made two years ago. I made all the colors with barks, flowers, roots, leaves, fruits and mushrooms. I place them out of direct sunlight and it keeps them really bright. And that's it! I'm an artsy fartsy girl who loves nature and wants to protect it with my art. I want to make more videos on the topic of eco arts. I do a lot of mediums with alternative natural techniques and I would love to share my knowledge with you. I'm making all these videos by myself with my cat watching me. So if you want to support me, please subscribe to this channel, comment, like and share this video to people who might like it. And if you really, really, really enjoyed this video, you can send a donation via the link below. Thank you for your interest in eco art and see you next time with a new skill. Stay tuned, my little wildflowers. My mission is to encourage making an ecological... ecological my mission is to encourage making an ecological ecological My mission is to help making an ecological shift in the world of hearts arts